recently I asked on my Facebook group which of my videos people liked the best. And my folded laundry video seemed to be a favorite of many of my viewers. So I decided it was time to do another folded laundry video. This time we're making a folded ladies blouse. Stay tuned and see how fun and easy this is to do. Alright, first let me apologize for working on a white surface with white fabric, but that's what I've got. So, to make our folded laundry, we are going to start with a 3 by 3 inch piece of fabric. It doesn't have to be perfect, um, but pretty close to that. And you want it on the straight of grain, meaning my weaving is going this way and this way. And you want something fairly light. This happens to be a piece of unbleached muslin. Um, something like that will be easier the first time you do this. Now we need to fix the edges so they don't fray out. I'm using just some clear nail polish. I have it here and I'm just going to run this along here. You could use a very, very thin line of glue. You could use a product called Fray Check, which is made for this purpose. This part's not going to show. It's all going to be kind of on the back side where it's not going to show. We just don't want our fabric fraying on us while we're trying to work with it. So I am going to treat all four edges with this nail polish, which I'm just about done with. And then I'm going to let this dry all the way. When it gets dry, I'll be back and we'll go on to our next step. All right, so I have my improvised ironing surface here because I couldn't find anything else to iron on. I didn't want to iron directly on my tile. It's just a little iron you can get at the fabric store. Uh, be careful, it does get quite hot. Now we are going to fold our fabric diagonally. Now if your fabric has a right and wrong side, be sure the right side is out. Also, be careful of what fabric you use, that it's compatible with your iron. And I do find that for this project, a plain solid color fabric works the best. It just looks better. So. I want to get a nice crease on this top. This is, an, this is unbleached muslin, so it's all cotton, so it creases much better than something that's not cotton. Not all 100% cotton. I just took the center of this, and I'm folding over just a little area for a collar. That will allow us to have a little collar. Now I'm going to unplug this and get it out of my way before I burn myself. Because that's very likely to happen with me. Alright, so I've got a little tiny book uh, binder clip. I'm going to put over this. I want this collar to stay down. And I found that without this, I fight too much with it. Now, you're going to pull your front down. You're going to take this corner and meet this corner. And I have pre-threaded a needle with some thread and tied a knot at the end. And I'm going to pull this one down. Now, we want these to overlap, being careful that you're putting this one over that one because it's a lady's blouse. This is definitely a lady's type garment. Now we're going to take a little stitch. I know we're sewing. Careful not to poke yourself. I actually like to sew and I don't mind sewing by hand. So I'm just going to take a couple of stitches. Um, I find glue just takes too long on this project and you're liable to end up with glue showing. All right, take two stitches and then come back up here so that your needle is on this side. Turn it up in the same spot. Now, we have this step. We've gone this far. We're going to go to the back. We're going to fold this up like this. This stitch we're going to have to be careful with. We're going to go up so that we are up here at the tip. 
and we're going to only take this stitch through the back layer of fabric. I'm not going through. Come around. Make sure you can't see the needle in there. This is kind of in the way, but it helps to hold that all together. We need one more stitch, and again, I'm going to put my needle through, and I'm going to make sure I don't see my needle. If I don't see my needle here, I won't see my stitch. In other words, I don't want to come up through there and go through. I want to just go through one layer of fabric. All right, so that's done. That's now held up. Now, we are going to fold this to the middle. And take a couple of stitches. Yeah, I tried to do this without this, and I just I couldn't do it. I needed another hand if I was going to do that. Now, since this is trying to stick up, I'm going to go down here. And now I'm only going through the fabrics here. I'm not going into that center. Again, I don't want to go into where this where it's going to show to the front. Right. Back up here to the go under and come back, back up. I don't want a big long thread sticking out. Bring this one over. Double check on the front. Do we look even? Yes, we do. All right. Hopefully my son won't walk in. I hear him out moving around out in the other room. And I didn't tell him I was filming right now. Oopsie. Couple more stitches. And then we'll go down here. And we'll take a couple more. I think probably take that off now. I don't need that held anymore because I've got everything in place. And if you're not doing this on camera, you can probably get yours folded even more e more evenly so it's more centered. I like to take my fat my thread back towards the middle. I forgot to get my scissors, so I'm gonna have to grab a pair of scissors. And of course, you can do this at the ironing board. I didn't want to have to move us back and forth to the ironing board, so you can use your regular iron to do the ironing part. It does help a lot to actually iron, <coughs> excuse me, iron that first fold and the collar down. There we go. And there is our ladies' blouse. Now, on the one I did earlier, I used a more satiny fabric. It was a much heavier fabric. It was much harder to use. But I love how these look. And I know when I talked, when I asked on my Facebook group what favorite videos had been lately, the folded laundry ones came up as being right at the top of a lot of people's list. So let me bring us in so you can see those a little closer. There will be photos on the blog post. So be sure and check those out. Whoops, that was good. I came in and then I moved that out of the camera range. Be sure and check the blog post for more photos. I will give the uh, cutting size and everything there. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't found our Facebook group, be sure and follow the link in the description box under this video and all my other videos to find the Facebook group. Check my blog post. At the top of my blog, I also list all my other blogs, so if you want to see what else I'm up to, you can check there. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.